pretty day. A um, little overcast, however, and I thought I would walk through here and show you guys how the garden's doing. Um, we have cucumbers and cucumbers and more cucumbers, which I do not mind at all. I just love cucumbers. And so this little vine here, called the Boston Pickling Cucumber, it has been producing like crazy. So I have been making pickles and pickles and more pickles, which is fine with me too. Um, I'm actually using, taking this opportunity to experiment with different pickle recipes. So this winter, I'll pull them out of, off the shelf and I'm gonna let the family do a taste test comparison. So that's my, uh, that'll be a video for this winter anyway. So, um, and I have a lot of green beans right now too. Show you over here. Um, this is just a vine I happened to pop in uh, in the ground right here by this archway and it's just taken off. This is a greasy over here, greasy bean. Okay, and that's that's a really good producer. It's turning out to be a not just a good green bean, but a, a good producer. And then I think these over here are Kentucky Wonder. Yeah, always a prolific producer. Just tons and tons of green beans all over this vine. So I'm real happy about that. Been having a lot of Japanese beetles discover the garden this year. I guess because I'm growing so many green beans. They're, Japanese beetles are everywhere. But the green bean vines are still producing and that's what I care about. And these are bush beans down here. These are called jade bush beans. I grow those every year. Wonderful steamed, nice and tender, stringless. Just a really good bean. Um, I wouldn't cook it what I like to call southern style, like the way I'm cooking the greasy or the Kentucky wonder green beans. I, um, southern style to me is salt, water, pepper, and some bacon grease. Yes, you heard me, bacon grease. <laughs> That's the way we like them. And up here um, is the plant of the day for the Japanese beetles. It seems like every um, day I'll come down here and they're always gathering and have picked out one of their one of the four arches where the beans are going and one of them will be their favorite so today yes you, hopefully I can you can see these I'm just trying to I'm just trying to stick my tripod up there so you can have a look I need to get those in my little pickle jar that I'll collect my bugs in Okay, so um, we'll take a look down here. Uh, this is a sugar baby watermelon plant. I didn't know if that was going to start to grow or not, but it has started to grow. I don't know that I will get anything off of it though. It has a little bloom on it. We'll see. Pepper plant right here is looking real healthy. Um, back behind there, cry. Uh, climbing up on the trails is another one of the Boston pickling cucumber vines doing wonderfully nice and green and healthy um, some of the leaves towards the bottom the base of the vine are yellowing and spotting but that's to be expected and they're still producing though so that's great um, this is my these are my Chelsea prize cucumbers don't think they're gonna make it all the way up the arch this year no, I was gonna try to work them all the way up but on either side they're kind of just hanging out and producing cucumbers but aren't very interested in climbing up or either I missed an opportunity while I was on vacation to help them up that archway so they're working their way out into the aisles like this um, cucumber vine which is right down here it is another Boston pickling cucumber so I've in total, I think I'm growing three of those vines, and really, really good producers. Um, back over here, in this bed, and I don't think I've pointed this out on one of the other, any of my videos actually, is a sweet potato plant. That's one plant, and it is just going all over the bed. So, not grown sweet potatoes here before in my soil is really really thick clay so 
we'll see how they do. I'm, I have planted them in my other garden, and they are doing great there. It's a nice, loose, sandy soil there. Behind there uh, are some carrots, and I don't think they've produced any carrots yet. Um, and then the little beds are doing real well, always. Raised beds seem to always do well. And look at this beautiful, beautiful little dragonfly that has just dropped by to pay me a visit. He has been in the garden all day. I've been trying to photograph him. And we'll see if he lets me get close this time. There he goes. Those blue dragonflies are just beautiful. Okay. Okay, back to the garden. And as I was saying, these little raised beds are always, just always, always do well. Um, and again, I have over here um, more green beans, more of the jade green beans, and a lot of basil. I have purple basil, Thai basil, and then the large leaf Italian basil. So I've been cutting that. I cut a lot of it last night. Um, as a matter of fact, I've harvested, had a huge harvest last night. And I have uh, already got to get some more stuff. So I see my little dragonfly friend has come back here. Just landed on here. Beautiful. Really pretty. Back in my son's garden, um, the sunflowers are about to open, so those are really pretty too. They are following the sun as they do every year. Okay, and over here are more green beans, <laughs> and I just picked. A lot of these last night but for those of you who grow green beans and you grow cucumbers you know the more you cut and pick them the more they produce and that's exactly what this Kentucky Wonder plant has been doing for me very prolific and not real stringy but it does have strings I have to take the time to take them out and they don't come out whole either they kind of thin string so sometimes some gets left behind okay and this one does not look healthy here and then they didn't even really do well at all over there or either something ate it something has been visiting this corner of the garden um, I had to have a purple ball you know tomato plant grow in there and something ate the tomatoes that were on there and then I noticed these have kind of been chewed on a little bit and then my only pumpkin squash down here, something has gotten a hold of that. It looks more like a bird or something, but something has been gnawing on it. So in this corner of the bed, been having critter problem. I haven't identified which critter it is though. Uh, the zucchini plants, I popped those in the ground uh, right before I went on vacation, and they are not doing well at all over here. And again, this is that bed. Uh, both of these back bands, I think, have a problem with the wilt bacteria in the soil. So, um, I have the same zucchini plant growing in my other garden, and it is they are doing fabulous, huge, and putting out a lot of fruit already. Okay, so right back here are all of my peppers. Um, I have a few other peppers scattered in the garden here and there, but most of my peppers are right here. Some are hybrids, some are open pollinated and heirloom um they're all doing really nice they're starting to put out the blooms finally and they're um, nice and green and healthy no signs of disease um this is the uh, giant marconi here i've been picking some peppers on there you can see there's some down there at the bottom i could probably go ahead and get those and behind it is another giant marconi 
and behind that another one. I think I have three of those. And then over here some jalapeno peppers. Um, and there's an heirloom stuck in the middle there. And down here is the serrano pepper, which are great. That's just putting out oodles and oodles of tiny wonderful peppers. And this one is one I did not cage. You can see it's fallen over and now it's starting to grow upright. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> now back here in this garden, this bed, it looks like it's being taken over by a squash and it is. That's one squash plant. It has gone crazy. It is moving all over the place. So uh, no pumpkins yet, oddly enough, but I gave it some, um, where did I give this the other day? I think I put some um, uh, bone meal out and some Epsom salt. And it looks like it's starting to produce some blooms. So it's going all the way down there. It starts right here by this little uh, milk jug right here. And it's wrapping all the way around. And it's working its way over here. So... <laughs> It's going crazy. Now, so hopefully I'll start to see at least one pumpkin out of that. We'll see. And not much to be said for this over here. I think I have totally lost this rosemary plant though. I guess I just cut it back at the wrong time of year or something. I'm not sure, but it does not look healthy. It's dried up and turning brown on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. And more green beans. Lots and lots of green beans this year. Okay. And the corn, and I mentioned this in my other video, I am just letting that do its thing just to see if it will survive in this bed over here so I'll know that next year I can plant all corn over here. No tomatoes because I'll just lose them to that bacterial wilt. So, alrighty. Hope everybody's having a wonderful gardening season out there, and thanks for stopping by and checking mine out. Bye-bye.